Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from the Zawa server. How are you doing? How is your Friday? Is it good? I want to know these things. My day's been doing pretty good actually. Not, not that bad. Uh, better than last week anyway, because last week we had a little accident here at the zoo. Alright, so if you guys watched last episode, we had an incident back here uh, with the uh, dolphins. Yeah, some bad stuff happened with the dolphins. Uh, one of them, the Amazon River Dolphin, Flipper. Uh, accidentally jumped out of the water. Oh, there's a skeleton right there. Hey, check out the new new exhibit. We have skeletons in here. Uh, accidentally jumped out of the water and then threw himself onto the fence where it died. It's a pretty brutal way to go, actually. Not gonna lie, that one's pretty rough. Right here, this is where Flipper's demise happened. Uh, and since then, I've been trying to ponder what I should do with this area, with this exhibit. I mean, it's, it's a water exhibit, so I need a water animal of some kind. One that's not gonna jump out of the water and kill itself on the fence. And I don't really know which one that is. Some people in the comments section have been putting down some really good ideas like uh, octopi and stingrays. Not bad suggestions at all. In fact, I really like them. Except, I kind of was planning on putting those in the aquarium. Like, like I wanted them to be a little bit of hands-on whatever thing there. So, I kind of had that in, in mind for over there. So, uh, okay, so Scrat and Sandy probably saw the whole thing and are traumatized now and they need therapy. But, we'll get on to that later. So, I have to try to figure out what I'm going to put in here. So, what I think today the best course of action would be would be to go try to find a replacement <laughs> i don't really have anything yeah, that i have caught that could actually go in here but i could always go try to find a replacement not to mention the fact that i do want to find another amazon river dolphin and uh and to do that i'm gonna have to go look for one because i don't i don't have another one so in today's episode we're going hunting uh we are going hunting for new animals um uh, because i need to get that i need to i need to get my replacement now there is a marine iguana i could throw in there but I mean, that is one thing. I do have a uh, Harley in the reptile center. I keep moving things out of the reptile center, but uh, I do have a Harley in the reptile center that I could put in here. Uh, but either way, I think I'm going to have to remove that dock and just close off the area right there, and this will just be an exhibit on its own then here. So I do have to do that. But today I'm going to have to venture out into the ocean, into the water. Is that a stingray right there? That's totally a stingray right there. Contains, uh, contains, oh, uh. I need, I need a net. I need a net now. I want to catch this stingray. It's totally a stingray right there. Come here. Bam. Caught it. There's a stingray. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. Um, I could put stingrays in here. Right? Now, this is not my second one that I have, but like I said, I do want to put those in the aquarium, actually, when I finish it. it hasn't made any progress on it. I keep getting distracted with stuff in this area, so I keep kind of... Forgetting to go over there and grind out some more on the aquarium. I'll have to make a point of that. Uh, Alright, so one stingray caught, but what I need to do is I need to find a replacement for here. So I need to find where I caught that Amazon River Dolphin. I don't remember where it is, alright? So let's, let's uh, pull up the map here. I was looking around trying to see where I've explored. And I think from the zoo here, the place I've explored where I found it, I think is past the winter area. I think it was down in this area, somewhere in here. I think that's where I ended up finding this thing. Somewhere, In fact, it might have been right here. Pretty sure it was right there. We're going to put a thing that says, uh, right here. I'm pretty sure it was right here. That's where I found it. So I'm going to try to get back there and see if I can't find any more. Uh, what time of day is it? It's getting, uh, kind of getting nighttime. I do have a backpack. Let's go ahead and, uh, dust off the end chest here. Get the elytra out. Get the rockets out, because we're going for a trip. Uh, I can probably plant a couple of flowers here, because I don't need those. Not right now, anyway. Uh, and then also the string can go back in here as well. Now, I'll worry about a net when I get there. I can make make uh, more. Plus, so I have some empty nets in here, actually. Let's go ahead and grab at least one. All right, and that, let's not forget, I do have trank uh, darts on me in case I run into something that's a little too dangerous for me to handle. I'm getting some leg spikes here, too. Pretty bad. Um, and let's go ahead and equip the elytra and get heading out and try to make our way over to right here so we can see if there's any more del uh, Amazon River Dolphins over there. If I can fly. Fly, please. That's a big fail right there. I finally got airborne. There's lions right down there. What is that thing? That thing's adorable. What are these things? These things are all new. I haven't seen these before. Oh, it's a red panda. Oh my gosh. I'm finding new animals, people. I haven't I haven't found these before. This is all new stuff for me. Where's my uh, where's my end chest? Because that had it had stuff in there. Let's make sure the lions aren't coming to eat my face. No, they're not. Let's go ahead and grab another red panda here because they're adorable. Where'd he go? He didn't go down there, did he? Where is he? There's also these birds. Oh, there he is, right there. I want to grab another red panda. 
because they're adorable. Um, all right, let's go ahead and stash him in there as well. Oh, I could actually combine the red pandas. Let's get something else in there so I don't do that. Um, there's also these birds here, which are kind of new as well. Like, I don't remember ever seeing these things. What is this? This looks crazy. It's a toucan. I have toucans. That one looks kind of interesting. Now, there's some lions over here, including another male lion, which I only have one of those. But I don't think I need anything. I actually already have two cans, but I'll, I'll keep this one. Why not? Oh, hmm. I'll let him go. Be free. Um, oh, there's zombies. Oh, there's terrible stuff coming at me. All right, I think it's about time that I sleep. Oh, you're going to make it a problem, aren't you? Now, I definitely did not have the red panda. So this that made this trip already worth it, hands down. And there's even some sugarcane floating right over here, which means that I haven't actually... I thought I'd been in this area. It's either that or I haven't loaded this area since I initially came into it. Where am I? There I am, right there. Yeah, no, I, I haven't been in this area since I initially loaded it. Very nifty. All right, well, it's time for me to get back in the air and get flying again because uh, I got to get over to right here. What is this thing? Is this a rat? I think I see a rat. It's a brown rat. I caught myself a rat on a glacier. Of course there's rats on a glacier. All right, there is a lot of water here. And if there's a lot of water, that means there's a potential chance to find a river dolphin here. So I'm gonna hang out in this area and kind of jump between rivers for a little bit and see if I can not find it. Now I'm not actually there yet, but I'm kind of in that area, I'm getting there. I kind of tried to veer off to the east a little bit so that I can uh, like explore new territory and see if I can't get eyes on maybe a new animal. But I have not actually found the dolphin yet. There's a, there's pigs. You know, I don't actually have pigs. And my petting zoo, I don't have a pig in there, so I might as well grab some of them while, while I'm here. There's plenty of them. Let's grab two of them so I can breed them up if I, if I ever need any more. Uh, but yeah, I don't actually have pigs yet. This is something that I've been missing. All right, I'm over here by right here. Um, the place I just marked down on the map. This is, I believe, the river where I found that dolphin in. So I kind of have to wander around a little bit and see if I can't find another one. I'm hoping I can find another one. In fact, I'm pretty sure I caught him, like, right here. There's a fish. There's a blue fish. That's not what I need. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure I caught him, like, right here. So this is where Flipper originated from and where he ended, well... Oh, there's there's definitely zombies down there. Well, where he ended as well, that's the graveyard. That's where he ended. <laughs> that's where he ended up. So I don't see any uh, life on the map as far as in the water. So that kind of is disappointing. So I don't think there's another dolphin in this area. I'll keep wandering around and hopefully I'll see one. And if I do, I'll let you guys know. Well, that's not a dolphin. Uh, this is a fish, but I think this is a garfish, and I'm thinking I have these. Oh, it's an American paddlefish. I mean, it looks kind of like a garfish, but it's American paddlefish. It's definitely not a dolphin, but it's definitely something. I'm pretty sure I have these. In the event that I don't, I'm going to keep this one, though. <laughs> I'm running out of string, so i really got to be careful with what I catch now. I don't think I'm going to catch anything more exotic unless I actually find that dolphin. Unless I find something that... I Maybe I could put paddlefish, actually in there. Oh, I could do that. I can turn it into a paddle pond. Like a spot where you can do take paddle boats out. And you can actually paddle with the paddlefish. How cool would that be? There's a salmon. What is this? Is that one of the barking deer? It's a cape buck. A bush buck. I've never seen one of these things before. Catching it. Well, here's an adorable little tree frog. Look at that. It's female. That's cute. Uh, I already have tree frogs, though, so I don't need that. Oh. This is new. Are these emus? I don't have one of these things yet. Ugh. It's a, a cassowary. Wow. Okay. Uh, looks like I got to catch these things. I might not actually get around to catching Flipper's replacement because I'm going to run out of string after I catch another one of these things so I can make these into an exhibit. They sound very creepy, actually. They almost sound like they're attacking me. Which they very well may be. Let me just <clears throat> do that. Right there. There you are. Look at these things. What are these things? Cassowary. Male. Nifty. You are an interesting looking bird. 
Hello, my name is Grimer. I will be your capturer today. <laughs> uh, interesting. Those things are new. Now, I don't actually have another net on me that I can use. And I don't have the means to um, craft anymore. I'm going to have to run back to the base. But that's been a pretty successful run, actually. Just going out and looking to see if I can find... I mean, successful in... Well, I hear a spider. I hear a bunch of evil stuff, actually. Uh, uh, successful in air quotes because... Oh, look at these things. What are these things? Are those loons? Yeah, it's a common loon. Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh, what can I get rid of? Oh, hold on. Let me look through my inventory here. I actually do have an empty net. I have an empty net. I can get a loon. Oh, if I can go catch it now. It's taken off. It's gone. It's gone, man. Never mind. Let me... It's landing. Excuse me, loon. You mind, uh... Mind get coming down here? <laughs> Where, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Ugh, got it. Okay, common loon. Those are pretty, uh, pretty common, actually, in the area where I live, as well as up into Canada and stuff like that. Uh, in fact, uh, I know Canadians like loons. Uh, they have it on their currency, even. So, um, all right, so now watch me. Oh, there's a bluefish. Watch me actually stumble upon the dolphin now that I completely ran out of nets. I found some great stuff, though. I found some interesting new animals I haven't seen yet before, and I've gone on multiple trips looking for new animals. This was So this was actually, like, successful in air quotes because, I mean, yeah, we didn't find the dolphin, but we did find some cool stuff. What's up here? I see some. I see some animals up here. What's up here? Oh, is this another one of these uh these same kind of weird deer things? I don't need that dirt. Is this uh the the weird deer thing I just caught? It is. It's a Cape uh, bush buck. That's pretty awesome. Man, I want to catch two. I, I'd like to catch two of them. There's another one right here. Okay, so I caught a male. I'm guessing because it had the antlers, and then this one right here is a female. I'd like to catch both of these, but I don't have a net. Let me actually look. Maybe I have one on reserve someplace. I do not have a net readily available. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a waypoint. Uh, bush buck. I'm just going to say bush buck. Call it that. All right, now I have to get back to base so I can get some more supplies to so come back and catch some of these things, but I think I'm going to keep searching. Not to mention the fact that I still don't have anything to replace the dolphin exhibit as far as what I'm going to put in there. So I got to keep my eyes up for that as far as something, unless I want to fill it all in with land or with uh, with uh, grass and then put these uh, these bush bucks in there. Uh, I have to still come up with something. So let me get back to Wildwood and resupply and then we'll head out again. Well, look at this. I'm on my way back and I stumble upon a build actually. Hmm. I don't know whose build this is. Is there a sign anywhere? It looks like somebody is working on something out here. I see. I see exhibits. Oh, they got a hippo exhibit. Nice. They might have the same problem I have with them biting people through the walls, unless they tame theirs. I'm not too sure. Oh, they got a grizzly bear exhibit. Nice. That actually looks really good. Mmm, grizzly bears look like they might be hungry. Hungry for Grimer. Hungry? Maybe. Yeah, they have a grizzly bear exhibit. Oh, look at this. They actually have an underwater section where you can see the hippos when they're underwater. That's very clever. I like that a lot. And what's this? This is looking good, though. Whoever whoever built Oh, it's a sloth! I don't have one of those. I need one of these. That's adorable, though. They have a sloth exhibit. That is great. Uh-huh. What, what's all, What else is over here? Whoever zoo this is, I'm showcasing off your zoo. Uh, oh, they have a, a Galapagos tortoise exhibit, too, actually. Got a little shelter thing for it. Mine was just fenced in with nothing really fancy in there, but uh, they added some trees. One That's one thing I should actually add in mine. I should put at least a tree for, shelter, uh, for shade. Got these nice walkways, and it looks like they are building either some kind of grand entranceway or a... or something over here. I like the, the fountain. The fountain looks good. There's a rat. I actually have two rats. If I really need to catch something, I think I'll let one go. Okay, so this is the portal. I wonder if there'll be a name on the portal. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Bella Zoo. Very nice. This looks really good. Let me uh, let me go through the portal here and see if there's a name on the portal on the other side. Trully. Looks like the zoo is built by Trully. Very nice. Is this close to spawn? Literally everything else. <laughs> Trully's house. Bella Zoo visitor entrance. Literally everything else. Very, very well well labeled. All right, well, I'm going to head back out of the nether here and get uh, get back home. Although I could actually use the nether to get... Well, literally everything else is this way, so I'm going to use the nether to get back quickly. 
Might as well take a quick pit stop off at the Ender Ender and repair my elytra since I'm out and about anyway. I think this was built by Drailer and Wyatt. Thank you guys very much. It's my main source of XP in repairing all my tools. Everything is all repaired and this should bring me back to uh, Wildwood really fast. Bam, just like that. I'm back in my little hideout. Awesome. Alright, so now I can make a few more nets while I'm here and stash the animals that I did end up collecting, which I kind of have stored... Sort of all over the place. We also have summer and winter in our inventory also. I kind of want to keep them in there so that I remember to put them someplace. Uh, but let's get the blue fish out of here and let's get the stingray out of here. And then we also have all of these guys we got to take out of here as well. Uh, and I don't have any room. And we're going to stash them someplace. Alright, well looky here. I actually have a backpack starter with a bunch of empty nets in it. I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to, if I can get in here, take this and bring it with me because I'm going to need that for for sure. So let's go ahead and keep that somewhere on the hot bar, and we're going to use that to uh, to bring all the the new catches that we pay, uh, we get back to the zoo. And this one can go up here. All right, now I have to just head out again and try to find an interesting spot, place I haven't been before. And that that uh, that place I was in was actually pretty good, yielding some good stuff. But I don't have a replacement yet for the um, for the dolphin exhibit. So I got to find something aquatic. Maybe I should explore the ocean. Should probably explore the ocean actually. Maybe I'll head out that way and see what I can find out in the ocean. Maybe I'll find. I mean, I, I could. I mean, there's dolphins and stuff, but I don't need them jumping out of the water. So something that's going to stay underwater is what I need to find. Hmm. All right, let me get over there and see what I can find. Oh, I see something swimming right there, but uh, that doesn't look like a, a dolphin. It looks uh, it looks kind of like a shark. Couple of sharks. Um, sharks don't jump out of the water. <laughs> Shark, sharks don't jump out of the water, do they? I wonder. Let me, yeah, uh, let me, uh, let me get my better armor on here. Is, I wonder, oop, leg spike. I wonder if I can actually get a shark. I, I take. I'm gonna have to pop this thing. Oh, there we go. I popped it. Now it kind of knows I'm here, though. Got it. Tiger shark. Okay, let's pop the other one, too. What if I put sharks in the former dolphin exhibit and close it off so that there is no, like, petting area where you can interact with them? Because that, that dispels disaster, doesn't it? Is that a clownfish? Hold on, I gotta actually quick get another uh, net. I'm gonna grab two while I'm in here, though, because I think that's a clownfish right here, and it looks adorable. I, I need this in my life. It is a clownfish. Awesome. Oh, there's a dolphin over there. That's a bottlenose dolphin, I believe, but I will go check it out. Let me, uh... Let me go ahead and uh, grab another net and grab another tiger shark while I'm down in the water here. Uh, pop! Oh, I missed him. Okay, the, it, the, the darts don't travel very well underwater. Got him that time. Let's go ahead and scoop. Uh, scoop. I said scoop. Thank you. Got him. Alright, let's go check this dolphin over here and see if it's another bottlenose or if it's actually like what I've been looking for. Um, let's just swim on over here. I think that's a bottlenose. That looks a lot like a bottlenose. And plus, I mean, it jumps too, which means I definitely don't want to put it in the exhibit, obviously. But that, yeah, that's another bottlenose dolphin. The Amazon River Dolphin had like a longer beak kind of area. And it had like teeth and stuff on it, which looked kind of crazy. Let's just see if we can't right click on this thing. Yeah, it's a bottlenose dolphin. All right, we got, we've got a couple of them already. But what if I replace the dolphins with tiger sharks? What do you guys think? Oh, it's also nighttime. Um,. Yeah, I'm thinking that'll work. I might have to name these, though, because I, I want to put them in the exhibit today. So I'm, I'm, it's up to me. Tiger sharks, huh? Hmm. I'm going to have to brainstorm a little bit, and we're going to have to come up with some names for these things. I also see a gorilla over here. Okay, so now I have a gorilla captured, but I only have one. So I wouldn't mind catch, uh, catching one more, at least, for the exhibit. Uh, but the, over here is... Well, a spider, and there's also a gorilla sleeping. Can I just catch him while he's sleeping? Excuse me, guys. Pardon me. I'm trying to catch a gorilla. Pardon me. Excuse me. Yeah, right here. Let's just, uh, just, uh, pop that guy so he doesn't wake up. Yeah, it is. It's a western lowland gorilla. This is the same ones, uh, same kind that I have. Let's go ahead and catch another one of these guys, though, just so I have them on hand. Oh, there's actually another one right there, too. Sleeping right here. Nifty. I should do more catching at night, actually. Aside from the mobs, there's a lot of things that are really tame and calm at nighttime. What's this thing up here? Oh, it's a toucan. Or, uh, yeah, it's a toucan right there. All right, I'm going to fly back. Actually, I'm going to try to find a spot where I can't uh, take a nap. And then I'm going to head back to Wildwood. 
And now let's start thinking about some shark names, huh? What, what, what do you guys think? Don't shoot me, I'm sleeping. Don't shoot me, I'm sleeping. Don't shoot me, I'm sleeping. Thank you. All right, we made it back to the zoo safely in one piece. Uh, I just realized I was flying over this hill. I have nothing on top of. I might need to do some foliage on that. Might do that in between episodes. Might do it in this episode if I get around to it. But uh, I do have these two tiger sharks now. Move the gorilla someplace out of my inventory. Let's uh, actually let's keep that equipped for right now. Uh, clownfish, tiger shark, tiger shark. All right, I want to add these two to the former dolphin exhibit. I think that'd be a good idea. So let's uh, let's get some name tags. I'm gonna have to name them right here on the fly. This puts a lot of pressure on me, people. I'm not very good at naming these things. So let's uh, let's go ahead and stash these in here for right now. I just need to clear up a little bit of room in my inventory. It's a little bit of a mess as usual. Um, all right, that should be plenty of room. All right, so let's go over here and start naming it. The first tiger shark will be named Bruce. Okay, now I know, and that's that's from Finding Nemo. Uh, I know that the shark in there was a great white shark, but I don't have one of those. And if I get one, I'll rename this. <laughs> All right, and then the uh, uh, the next one will be named. Oh, I don't even have one in mind. Uh, hey, Higgy, Higgy. Hig Higgleton. <laughs> we named Higgleton. All right, Higgleton and, <laughs> and Bruce. <laughs> this is what you get when I name things. I get weird names. So this is the way why I usually pull you guys for, for names, but I kind of have to name them here because I'm adding them right here in this episode. So, all right, let's go add the tiger sharks. Uh, the tiger sharks to the exhibit. Uh, and that is what will replace the dolphins. Now, the dolphins I'll have to find another home for because I do want to actually add them somewhere. They'll probably be added to the aquarium in a small aquarium on their own, a little area on their own. Let's go down here and land so I can actually swim like normal. And now this area right here needs to be removed though. Because this needs some this needs some rework. So let's uh, let's grab the axe. And let's uh let's start chopping because uh, this needs to go bye bye right here. This this can't be like this anymore. Uh, I don't want people falling into the into the this area with the sharks. That would probably be bad. And a pending lawsuit. You know, you know how it goes. If you guys own a zoo, if you guys make zoos and you know all that stuff, you know that uh, guests dying and being ripped apart by sharks is generally a bad thing. So <laughs> we're going to make sure that this is closed off so people can't actually get into it. Um, and the sharks can just swim freely and do their own thing. Um, all right, so I do have to close this part off too, but I'm gonna, I want to get the sharks actually added in right now if I can. Uh, I am going to have to remove this. And it looks like I have to do a little bit of work right here to make that kind of make a little bit of sense. Um, I think I need to make a little sense. I need to get in here. Oh, my inventory. Uh, where's the bat backpack, my saving grace? Uh, let's go ahead and stash stuff in here right now for place as placeholders. Let's put that in there too. Okay, good. I'm going to need that for sure. And I also am going to need some cobblestone to match the rest of the wall. So let's, uh, let's get in here and... Beep. And then this gravel here, I wouldn't mind grabbing actually if I could. Because gravel is su always super valuable. Alright, so that should be good enough right there for what I have planned. Yeah, that should, that should be good enough. Alright, so then this the guy can be taken out as well as this one here. And then those are going to be replaced with this stuff right here. But I do want to leave a spot for me to get out, so I'll leave it right here for right now. Because I need to get in there and drop the sharks off. So, let's see, tiger shark right here, and name tag right here. And other tiger shark. Where's the other one? Tiger shark. Name tag. Okay, I got it right here. And let's uh, sure. Let's let's do this and get the trank gun on the ready as well. But let's go ahead and lay one of these guys in here. Bam! Just like that. And what are you? You are a female. Okay. So you will be uh, Higgleton. <laughs> and bam! What are you? You are a male. Awesome. You're gonna be Bruce. All right, Bruce and Higgleton, they are in here. I got to get out of here before they eat me alive. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. All right, let me get out of here and uh, seal this back up. And then now I do need a uh, squid backpack, my other saving grace. Uh, where is it? Right here. I do need a few fences as well. So now if I just block this up, that should be it, right? Ta-da! The tiger shark <laughs> exhibit is done. <laughs> got to admit, like, that's better than just, like, putting, like, little tropical fish in there or something like that, or like goldfish. You'd, you'd expect a fountain like this to have like goldfish in it? Nah. Here at Wildwood, we have sharks in our fountains. 
All right, you guys. Um, I'm thinking that's probably going to be it for this episode. I know we didn't really build anything, and we did replace the dolphins. That was the primary goal, but I did catch a couple of new animals in this one, too. So this is kind of like just a hunting uh, hunting episode. It was a lot of fun. It might be a little shorter, too. I'm not too sure. i got to edit it down. i got a lot of footage saved up, though, so i got to do some work on it. But all right, you guys. I'm going to wrap this episode up. So if you did enjoy it, please be sure to smash that like button. It helps me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will catch you uh, in next week's episode. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Real quick, just because I know I won't be able to sleep at night, I am adding the loon to the waterfowl exhibit right here. Because why not? You know, loons, they, they go in here. So bam, there's the loon. Get out of the water, please. Naming him Looney. How awesome is that? What is he anyway? It is a he. It's a male. So there's Looney the loon. Voila, welcome to Wildwood.